I just poured my freaking heart out to this camera talking about Infinity War. By the way, happy Infinity War Day. I'm wearing my Marvel shirt again. I just came back from the movies um, about 30 minutes ago. I came right in, poured me a glass of wine, set up the camera, and decided I wanted to talk to you guys. Not about the movie in general, but I wanted to show you guys some books and, you know, just kind of cry a little bit about Infinity War. And I want you all, if you plan on seeing it this weekend, to go and see it and then follow me on my social media and then let's cry in my inbox together. Like, please and thank you. By the way, I am sipping on some Shiraz, or I gulped it all down the first time I recorded this video. But yeah, so hopefully the camera continues to record and you guys get to see all of this because if I have to film it again, I'm just not going to do it. So, today's video is going to be a library haul slash my Dewey's 24 hour readathon video. So, <laughs> since I've already recorded this video, I've already went through the whole shebang. I'm not going to tell you synopsis. For one, I don't remember any of them. And two, I think you guys have seen about three or four of these books already. The first book I'm going to show you here is a book that I have actually started reading already. And even though I'm only on like chapter three, it's not that bad and it is The Broken Girls by Simone St. James and this is a mystery suspense novel it has a ghost in it or something like that I don't know I haven't gotten that far like I said I'm only on like chapter three the next book is a book that you guys have heard me talk about already I had this out from the library like six weeks to two months ago and I didn't get a chance to read it I was reading other things and somebody else had it on their on hold and so I just took it back to the library but now I have it and hopefully I actually get it read this time and it is I am watching you by Teresa Driscoll this is a mystery suspense novel you know, about a nosy lady on the train the next book is a book that I just picked up about two or three days ago from the library and it is two girls down by Louisa Luna I think this is a mystery suspense novel as well I don't know I saw somebody here on booktube talk about it and like with majority of the books that I have up from the library I just see them and I request them from the library and then I get them and then this happens next book is a book that I know nothing about I don't even know if it's a mystery suspense novel I just somebody talked about it a while back and I just added it to my requests pile at the library and it is all the beautiful lies by Peter Swanson and because it has lies in it I'm thinking now it may definitely have to be uh, some type of mystery novel I'm not gonna read the synopsis I don't give a shit I have it now what the hell why does it matter next book is a book that I can't even tell from the cover from the title from the author's name if it's a mystery or not but I remember somebody talking about it and I think I had this on hold at the library well on request at the library for like a few months now and it is The Last Miss Parish by Liv Constantine again I don't know a damn thing about this book at all I just remember a few months ago somebody might have been anticipating this and that's why I requested it guys I need help that's just just know I need help okay, next book is a book I think you guys may have already seen if not if you follow me on Instagram you definitely have seen this already and it is the Passage by Justin Cronin. I have already started this. I read about 136 pages here at home and I listened to maybe about 50 to 75 pages when I went on a road trip to see my sister and my niece this weekend. I haven't uh, marked it off and I haven't picked it up since uh, coming back home Sunday, but I definitely plan on getting back into this sometime in the next, I don't know, three or four days because I probably need to give it back to the library soon. I guarantee it's probably due. The next book is a book that I know you guys have heard me talk about because I remember having to cover the paper up and it is Libby Rent by Pearl North. And again, I have to cover this up because it shows my home uh, library and it has my name and things on there because this is a interloan library loan. And this just has to deal with a world that lives in like the fucking library and I just I need to know about it you know you know the next book you guys have definitely heard me talk about it it's a book that I might not even waste my time reading this library copy when I get paid Wednesday if I don't get it read this weekend I might just buy it so I can have it for my collection and read it whenever I freaking feel like reading it and that is The Wicked Deep 